All right, we got another one of these chart videos. This is most popular waifu of 2004 to 2022 with Bath music. <laughs> I think that like zero two will be really popular. Hollow from Hollow Lot. Sorry, not <laughs> Hollow from Spice and Wolf. Not Hollow Live. Uh, maybe like the older generation people would love it, but like the newer audience, I wonder how like their flavor changes. We got Bulma. We got Bulma coming in at a ripe old age of 69. This is older Bulma, by the way. Not even like young Bulma. We got like Gilf Bulma here. All right. I see, you know, um, how should we do this? I feel like um, if I, I, wa I want to just like switch the overlay so that you guys can see more clear. Maybe like something like this, but my face kind of gets in the way here of like what's leading. It's kind of awkward. If I put my face down here, it doesn't really make sense either. But hey, we'll, we'll do what we got. But right now we have Boma at the very top. Asuka from, I think, uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion, right? Sailor Moon. Dark Magician Girl from Yu-Gi-Oh! is crazy. Not that crazy, actually. And so many more names that I just have no clue about. Like Nami, I know. Videl is crazy. Kagome. Yo, this is a Minuyasha shit. Well, like, like the dudes here who are watching all of these animes, they're like in their 30s and 40s now. Okay. Android 18? Android 18 stepping up? Okay. There's no way Sakura is that good. What the fuck? Why is Sakura peeking? Ain't no way! Ray has overtaken Asna. Sorry, Asuka. Asna, SAO. She should be coming in later on really hot though. Bulma so dominant. Sailor Moon? Dark Magician Girl? Ray's back? Okay. That's crazy how dominant Bulma is. That's actually insane. I hate that Sakura's on top there. Okay, we have Eno kind of competing. Eno or Sakura? Back when I was a kid watching Naruto for the first time, just dumb, stupid kid, I probably preferred Sakura over Eno. But now that I've grown up and kind of understood more about the themes of what characters represent what, I kind of want to say Eno, bro. Eno wasn't even that bad. She had like rivalry with Sakura, right? She was making fun of her forehead, I think it's something like that. She runs a flower shop. She got her own mans, right? The, the, the silent, you know, the drawing guy, wasn't he eventually like Eno's later on? Which is also funny because the silent drawing guy, wasn't he like, basically, uh, he reminded Eno of Sasuke, right? And that's why Eno settled for like, bu budget Sasuke. It's mean to call him budget Sasuke, but did something like that happen? This is a long time ago. I'm, I'm trying to remember fragments of memories from a long time ago. Hinata on the map. Yes, Yoruichi, bro. Yoruichi from Bleach is so peak. Ah, no, why? Why? Why is Sakura there? No, I don't like this. Ooh. Oh, what the hell? Harui Suzumiya. Now, that is an anime that I haven't seen. Because obviously, I'm only Battle Shonen, right? I'm only Battle Shonen growing up. Had no clue what this anime is. I've heard so much, though. People glaze this shit like no other. Wow, what happened, bro? Why is she so popular? Can someone explain to me, Harui dance was iconic? Is it kind of like the Chika dance that we see in uh, Kaguya-sama, where it's just like a cute moment Random clip, goes viral, everyone is just talking about him. Harui Suzumiya dance, huh? Okay. All I remember is uh, we had a bit of Harui Suzumiya reference in Roshidere custom endings in one of the episodes. She has her own religion? She's a cult leader? That's the biggest gap I've seen. Sakura! 
Oh, 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 Rukia's coming up. We got the big three, right? We got Naruto, Bleach. Where's One Piece? Where's Nami at? Nami's not that popular, huh? I saw her for a bit. We got Tsunade over here. Hinata, Saber from Fate mentioned. Um, Orihime, this is more Bleach. But no, Nami's all the way at the bottom. What the hell? Nami's climbing, just a little bit more. Sakura is so dominant. I see Nami and Robin just kind of at the bottom. Poor Hinata, man. Hinata deserves better. I can't believe Hinata is at the very bottom. Oh my god, bro. 2007, like, bro, look at that gap. That's an insane gap, bro. Oh, Naruto's mom is making it on the page. Oh, oh, oh. Code Geass. C2. It's just like Battle Shonen here, and then Harui Suzumiya. Just one standalone slice of life, I think. I would assume what this show is. Maybe it's more dramatic. I don't know. Slice of life rom-com is what I'm guessing Harui Suzumiya to be. Maybe it's supposed to be super traumatic, but like, upon a, uh, it's just all Battle Shonen here, man. All Battle Shonen. C2, C2. The ranking is pretty just solid. Nothing's really changing much. But like, I expect it to fundamentally change when Naruto's over pretty soon. Here we go. How do we popping off? It is like mind blowing that still, like, from 2004 to 2009 and still going, Sakura's dominance is crazy. I think this is Mob Psycho soundtrack remix. One Piece girls are at the very bottom. Boa Hancock kind of made it there, but like still, like it's crazy how One Piece girls are not really talked about as much. We got Naruto's mom popping up. Oh my god, Sakura. Nami, Nami more, a little bit more Nami representation. It's still Sakura, it's just, Sakura just killing it. Harui also has had quite the significant like run, right? Harui did show up like for like half a decade plus. She's been also very top tier. It's just Sakura and Harui just trading places. Yoko Littner. I do recognize her design from somewhere. I think that she's also very popular in a different show. There it is, Spice and Wolf. Here's Spice and Wolf. Yeah, Gurren Lagan, that's the one. Nami climbing. The constant switch in music is hilarious. Just, why is it Haruhi Suzumiya has Mob Psycho soundtrack? And Naruto is just Naruto soundtrack. Naruto should be ending... Actually, I'm not sure what year it ended. 2015-ish? Some, somewhere around there? Oh, Shiro! Who the hell is Shiro? Does anyone recognize... Because, like, her face is upside down. Shiro. I, I have no clue.
We got a new contender, SAO. Asna has entered the fray. Shiro is from Dead Man Wonderland. Okay, okay. Uh, Asna has entered the fray. Here we go. We got SAO coming in. And I think Lucy Harphelia is like fairy tale, right? Sakura still dominates though. Oh, 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 Air is a Scarlet. This is more like a, a fairy tale, but okay. Attack on Titan incoming. Mikasa incoming. AOT. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. AOT has entered the fray. Goodbye, Sakura. Okay. There it is. <laughs> I love the edit just for this part. I also did see a rise of Yunogasai. That's the uh, Mirai Nikki Future Diaries, right? AOT, baby. Oh my god. Oh my god. The gap. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Rias Grim already showed up. High School DXT did show for a bit. Wow, Lucy's doing really well. Fairy tale popping off. Asna, 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 Asna. Oh, oh, oh. Toka Kirishima. Which one is this? Also, no date alive. Where's Kurumi, bro? I expected Kurumi to show up. Yo, where's uh, date alive right now? Also, Toka Kirishima. This is Tokyo Ghoul? Okay. Akame got killed. Oh, oh, Asna with the overtake. Boom. We also have Akame got killed right over here. Akame. Ezdeth down here. I expected Ezdeth to be more popular than Akame. SAO dominance. Oh, high school DXT popping off. What happened? New season of DXT? Did we do some dumb shit? Also, no other DXT characters here. Like, um, you know. Oh, shit. I'm forgetting our name, too. There's Aka, there's, there's Rias, and then there's Akane, right? Akane. Hmm. I can know, my bad. I can know. That's. <laughs> I can know. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, Sakura is honestly still impressive that she's holding on this strong, but Asuna is really popular. Lucy is too, and Misaka. Bulma's still here. What the fuck? Oh! One punch man, one punch man. Tatsumaki is entered. Wow, people love this lolly, huh? <laughs> here we go. Uh, Re zero time. I love Amelia moment. Here we go. Megumin Konosuba. Here it is. Rem, 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 rem. <laughs> okay, let's look at it now. Lucy's still so dominant. Asna here. Sakura is impressive. She's still hanging on. Tokyo Ghoul Girl. You know, AOT Mikasa. Emilia. You know, Rias Grammarie, DXD. You got more fairy tale. Bulma's still here for whatever fucking reason. Future Diary's still hanging on. You got Yoko Lindner. Estes is still on the board, even though Akame isn't. And we got a little bit more leftovers, like, you know, Yoruichi Nami Saber from, you know, the distant past. Wow, and then Lucy takes over. I guess, like, Fairy Tail was really popping off during this time. Oh, 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 Lolly entering. This is this is Dragon Maid. Kana. This is a Dragon Maid show, right? Okay. Overlord girl. Albedo. Overlord girl. Megumin from Konosuba down here.
Wow, Saber! Um, Unlimited Blade Works? I don't know what happened. Phase Zero is like 2008? I, I, it's pretty old. But UBW here? UBW? Heaven's Feel? I don't know. Oh, wow. Violet Evergarden. Wait. Her name is Violet Evergarden? I thought that was the show's name. Okay, <laughs> okay. Her name is actually Violet Evergarden. Oh, okay, okay. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, she's dominated right now. Um, I also saw, where was it? Zero Two right here. I expect Zero Two to be really, really popular. Yeah, Zero Two, here we go. Here we go. Like another show where people know about the character more than the show itself. Kind of like Kurumi for Data Live. But I didn't see Kurumi make it onto the board a single time, despite Kurumi being so beloved. Are we just living in an echo chamber, guys? Are we living in a well not aware of how insignificant the Kurumi fandom really is in the grand scheme of things? I didn't see Kurumi once, did you? Oh, Albedo just popping off overlords, I guess. Kurumi showed at the very bottom at one point? Okay. Holy shit, look at that, bro. The really impressive thing is that obviously Asuna's holding on, but Saber has been there since the beginning. And Saber's still holding on. Sakura still just won't go away. Oh! Raftalia. Ah, rising of the shield hero, baby. Let's go. Raftalia's moment in season one was actually so important for now for me. There was that episode, I think, where they were really trying to like free Raftalia. Motoyasu and them were like, oh no, the shield hero has taken in a slave. We must free her. And Raftalia was like, no, I choose to be a slave. <laughs> Not really. But I think that was like a very impactful moment, you know. Here we go, Raftalia. Chica coming in. Uh, Kaguya Sama. Chica's very popular. Yo, Toga from. Sorry, this is uh, Mahir Academia. I thought this is. Uh, what's it called? Call of the Night for a second. Wow, Toga's really pop. Oh, let's go. Demon Slayer. Kimetsu no Yaiba has dropped. All the Nesco Sims, let's go. Zero Two still holding it. I love that. I saw Hayasaka there for a second. I, Hayasaka, I saw it. Right over here. Hayasaka did make it up. I don't know. Kaguya is really below here. Hayasaka is pretty popular. Yeah. Chika, Hayasaka, they're top tier characters in Kaguya sama. Uh, Bunny Girl Senpai. Echidna made it onto the board. Rem, still up really high. Let's go. Wow. Zero two. What the fuck? Fuck, yo, I think this is the biggest gap we've seen. I don't think even Sakura had a gap like this before, right? 2.6 mil almost, or just 0 2. Yeah, I think the. It's gotta be the viral dance, right? There's 0 2 who's already popular during when uh, Darling in the Franks was playing. But there was also that dance, which was like me, 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 which wasn't even 0 2. But due to meme culture and media, somehow Zero Two became that dance. I don't know exactly what happened. It's like Skibbity Toilet. Completely separate things. It's a fucking random dude, fat dude, juggle, jiggling his belly, saying Skibbity, you know, bop, bop, bop song, and then somehow it got infused with the toilet. So, like, this shit. Zero Two somehow got injected into the Mimi Me dance, which went viral for the Kumer content. And then they're like, oh, it's the Zero Two dance. And then the song, too. And then it went crazy.
Oh, Hayasei Naga. Oh, this is the uh, don't tease me Nagatoro, Nagatoro something, right? It's the tanned lolly girl teasing submissive beta guy rom com anime, right? I hear it's really good. Let's go. Oh my god. These two are competing. This is the battle of the lollies. What the fuck? Yamato. Uh, One Piece, I think. Destiny. I, I have no clue what Destiny is. Holy shit, that came out of nowhere. Toru Hagakure. Huh? My Hero Academia? Uh, okay, MHA. Okay, MHA. Jorin. Oh, this is JoJo's. Daki. Yeah, this is a uh, uh, entertainment district arc. Daki was so hot. And then we have Kitaga Marin from Dress Up Darling. Makima incoming. Uh oh. Uh oh. Maki Zenin from Jujutsu Kaisen. Wow, that's actually really impressive. Um. Yeah, so like Makima should be dominating pretty soon, right? Chainsaw Man's about to air. Kaguya-sama doing really well. Oh, it's good to see Kaguya-sama up there. We got your forger for Spike's family as well. People love your, huh? Overlord kind of popping off for a bit. Where's Makima? Two things popped off at the same time. Rebecca and Lucy, both I think from the cyberpunk anime, right? Look at look at how they both just like showed up at the same time. Ready? Boom, both. Oh, and then both of them gets left in the dust by Makima and Power. Rebecca's more popular than Lucy? I thought that Lucy was like the main girl and people people would love her more, but Rebecca does have that lolly look, right? And people yeah, Makima and Power. I see it, I see it. Power doesn't even change, like... She doesn't even wipe her ass, by the way. Nor does she flush the toilet. She's a wild animal. There's nothing, like... If you guys think for a second of what kind of girl Power is, like, you wouldn't be saying would. Kobedi making... Yo, the Chainsaw Man girls are popping off now. Himeno! And I think this is the final ranking here, right? This is the final ranking that we saw. Makima with the biggest lead, right? I think that we saw like 2.7 mil from like Nesco and like Rem. I, I forget. 0 2, I think. But 3.5 mil almost is crazy. Makima is that dominant. And unfortunate that I thought that like Kurumi would show up for sure. She did apparently at the very bottom for a second or few, but. It's looking like Sakura is very dominant. Bulma, Sakura, right? They're crazy. Uh, Harumi, Suzumiya was really crazy too. Zero Two obviously was dominant. Mikasa also had... Mikasa, you know, Asuna, they all had their moments. Rem had her moments. Lucy from, you know, Fairy Tail was also dominant. And then the rest of it is just Zero Two and then Makima. But that's the video. Please go give Mr. Rene a like on the video. Check out his channel. And I'll see you next time.